Hello everyone, this is Vinay and you are watching Edu Smart. You might be wondering who is Kushal, right? Kushal is an undergraduate who is pursuing his Bachelor of Technology in Hyderabad. Recently, he started preparing for his placements. As part of his preparation, he thought of building his resume first and then, and then start preparing on it. So, somehow he managed to get a Python certificate for free in just an hour. Do you want to get a certificate just like him? If your answer is yes, this video is all about how to get a certificate just for free in an hour. So, as usual, I have a bunch of questions to deal with. Let me answer these questions. So, what is this certification and who is providing this? Uh, this certification is being provided by Kaggle.com and you can get a Python certificate or also an introduction to mail or ML uh, as well as a pandas certificate etc there are many certificates available here so so that's about the certification and this is being provided by kaggle.com uh, kaggle is renowned for its competitions i think you might be aware on it you might have no I have any idea about it okay the next question is who are eligible so the eligibility is everyone who is watching this video because uh, they didn't pose any restrictions on the uh, availability or eligibility of this course uh, no matter uh, you are pursuing your graduation or else you are an undergraduate, uh, you are a professional, etc. Whoever can apply for this course. And what are the topics being covered in this? Uh, under topic of Python, they are providing basics of Python and some libraries as well as uh, lists, tuples, some data structures in Python. So that is about the topics. Mm, how will I get the certificate? Is it free? Yeah. Uh, as soon as you complete your course, uh, you can download your certificate uh, and it is free. And the next question is, how long is this course and a schedule please? Uh, uh, there is not, uh, nothing like a duration of the course. Uh, if you can complete this in half an hour, you can do it. If you can complete in 10 minutes, you can do it. If you can take 5, or five days, you can. So there is nothing like a duration of course. You can take it at any point of time and any day you can take it. And the schedule, uh, there is nothing like schedule as well. And your question is, uh, how to register for this? So how to register this, the big question I think. Uh, I think most of you are unable to get on coupon with the uh, registration process, right? For this reason, I'm going to uh, make a clear video on how to sign up for the account and also how to complete your assignment and finally how to download the certificate. I'm going to show you each and every part of that in the next slide. So please do watch the slide entirely so as to know how to description box I will be redirected to this page. You can see a sign in and as well as register right. Click on the register button. This will redirect you on another page. So you can register with your Google or else you can register with email. Let us suppose that we are registering with your email. You need to provide your email address and create a password which is minimum 7 characters as well as you can give a name to be displayed on your account and click I am not a robot. Uh, when you click on this and complete the next, you need not subscribe to the newsletter just click on next button and uh, that this will be, uh, they will send a registration code to your account. Uh, you just need to verify it and then you can log on to your account back. Uh, as I have already registered for this account, I am not going to uh, register again and so I'm signing in oh, um, uh, let me sign in with my email uh, let me pass this video so once you have provided your credentials just click on sign in button so this is how I have logged on to my account uh, under this menu click this button you can see the courses click on courses uh, this will show you a bunch of courses that are available with kaggle.com uh, you can see python micro courses like python intro to ml intermediate ml data visualization pandas feature engineering etc uh, let me take on you to the python uh, i have already started this up to seven percent right uh, let me view this course a python view course once you click on view course, uh, it will show you I have already started 7%. Uh, see, this is lesson 1. Uh, this is lesson 1. You need to read this lesson and then you need to give the exercise. Once you complete your exercise, uh, you can complete that course, a part of that course. 
so this is the lesson you just need to read this if you are interested you can read this uh, if you not you can directly give the assessment uh, i am not interested in reading this i am giving the assessment in order to give the assessment you see this point your turn so for every lesson they will provide you a subheading of your turn uh, inside this your turn you see this first programming exercise right click on this so this is the programming access uh, once you come on to this page click this button see this arrow symbol click on this arrow symbol uh, let me click so once you have clicked on this now again you need to click this run button you can see this run right this one so this run you click on this run uh, let me click on it So as I have got access, I am clicking on this run button. You can see this run here. I am clicking this run button. Now you can see this run all. Now click run all. I am clicking on this again. This is how you need to start this. So these are the exercises. Now we need to complete these exercises. You have successfully run some Python code. Congratulations. Uh, let us start with the question 0 this is question 0 uh, what is this question is asking is what is your favorite color see this is the assignment create a variable called color with an appropriate value on the line below remember strings in python must be enclosed in a singular double quote so they are asking us to create a variable called color and give some value to that let me uh, give it here see I'm, how I am going to write here remove this uh, underscores and then write create a variable color so color is equal to give some value here anything any uh, let us say green oh no this is right or wrong we don't know whether we don't know whether it is right or wrong now this q0 dot check function will ensure whether the given variable answer is right or wrong so this is a wrong answer as of now let me click this see this is incorrect so if this answer is incorrect you need to know what the correct answer is right in order to know the correct answer you can see this q not that solution you remove this hash which is a comment remove this hash and run this cell it will show you the correct answer so the correct answer is blue now come back and if you don't know how to read uh, how to do python exercise you just copy paste this you can see i have copied this i have cl uh, clicked on solution i have run that i have seen the solution i am coming back and instead of writing my own code, I am going to copy paste it. Paste. I am going to run this now. The answer is correct. So I have got the credits for this question. I have sunk, uh, solved this question. Uh, let us see another one. Uh, this is the question one. They are asking us to create a variable called radius as well as uh, area and calculate it. So I don't know the answer for let us suppose I'm clicking on the answer here. So q1 dot solution, right? I'm removing this hash and I'm running this so that I can see the solution for this question. I'm copying this solution. So I'm copying this solution. So as I have already copied this, uh, let me paste it here. I'm pasting this here. Uh, the, as I have already seen the solution, I'm pasting here and i am run i am going to run this cell let us see whether the answer is correct so uh, the answer is correct i will get the credits for this answer now so this is how we are going to do for all the questions this is question 2 and you can simply uh, uncomment this see the solution copy it and paste it so what are the common errors that you are going to face doing this is indentation error so when you get an indentation error it means that you are not providing appropriate spaces uh, in python indentation always ma matters so for this you need to copy paste exactly what is present over there if not you will get indentation errors uh, like if you give extra amount of spaces or else if you give less amount of spaces you will get an error so be careful with that uh, that is the only error you may encounter in this uh, else you, will re you can get all other solutions for this so this is how you are completing this for all the modules all the lessons this is for lesson 1 right uh, let me take on to the python home page this is lesson one right uh, let me see some other lesson whether we can copy it or not see i have increased 12 percent 
let me take this booleans and conditionals so i'm moving back onto the exercise just scrolling uh, you are done the exercise notebook so here in this exercise again i will copy. not even copy paste the solution they will directly give you credits if you run the cell you know you not write any code for that you can directly click on that uh, run button you can directly get the credits for that cell so now again as usual we need to click on this once you click on this again you need to uh, you will get an exercise option once you get that this page has been refreshed you can click on the run button and then run all remember these steps you need to follow this for every notebook exercise notebook that you are opening now uh, see try to run and then run all so we have clicked the run all now we can directly go and do our access so this is q1 dot solution if you do it you will get the answer uh, let me check if this was solution see so this is the where i'm talking about check your answer run this code cell to receive credit so you need not do anything you just need to run this cell in order to get the credits so i'm clicking on this cell when you click on this cell, you can see the run button now click on run that's it you will get the solutions for uh, credits for this question for remaining other questions you just need to copy paste the solution as usual so now the, for the, if there is an comment hash you just remove the hash and then copy paste that this is how you are going to do for all the modules once you do this modules uh, you will get something like this so when you finally complete all the assessments that means all the exercises are completed by you when you come to the back to home page you can see this your progress well done view certificate once you click this you can get your own certificate now so this is how your certificate gonna look like so you can see download certificate button now when you click it you can download your certificate uh, let me open this see this is my certificate certificate of completion Kaggle Jvine and the date and the python this is how the certificate gonna look like you can access this very easily so if you have any other questions please feel free to post in the comment section below and if you have any doubts uh, join our community on facebook whatsapp telegram and youtube don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you